Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with my week 43 post BSG update. Um, began this journey on June 12th, 2012, weighing in at 254 pounds. And this morning I weighed in at 152.6. Um, that is up a pound from last week. Um, exactly a pound. And I'm okay. I'm okay with it. We went out of town this weekend. I didn't eat great. I didn't exercise. I'm okay with it. Um, but I'm back on it, right? Yes, we're back on it. Um, Annette VSG Mommy did a tag, and she, I think she did like seven questions or nine questions. Anyway, I'm going to answer some of those. Um, one of the things she said, uh, asked is, what are you grateful for? My family. I am so thankful for my family. Um, I have fantastic parents. Of course, you know, we've had our ups and downs, <laughs> as you, you know, do with your folks. Um, I have incredible siblings who we fought like dogs and cats when we were kids and now love each other tremendously. Um, and now I have a fantastic husband and kid. Um, I couldn't ask for a better family. So I am very thankful that I um, have been blessed with a great family structure. I am also very grateful for this sleeve. Um, as many of you know, this has been a lifelong battle of weight loss and gain, and loss and gain. And um, the sleeve has just helped tremendously. And it's not just about the weight loss. It's a feeling of control. And, you know, I still lose control. I still have the mind games. I, you know, and I think that's a battle I'm going to face forever. Um, but when I would, before, sit down and eat an entire bag of chips and then go walk to the pantry to look for something else, I was completely out of control. I had, you know, so this helps me control my life. So I am very grateful for my sleep. Um, things missing in life. I cannot think of anything that I am missing in my life. Like I said, I have a great family, a fantastic husband who, you know, irks me as every husband does. But talk about patient and kind and uh, I, I can't say enough good things about my husband. Um, so I am so thankful for that. And we have a happy, healthy kid who is smart and, you know, I think beautiful. So um, I'm not missing anything in that department. Of course, there's things that I want. You know, the spoiled girl in me wants to travel and be pampered and da 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 And, you know, wear fancy clothes and all that crap. But as far as what's missing, can't think of anything. So that's a good thing. Um, something I would change about myself. There are a few things I would change about myself. I am very much a type A personality. Um, I'm also a big bossy bitch. So, um, yeah, my poor husband and kid, I feel sorry for them. And every day, and... You know, I say things that come out of my mouth before I engage the filter. And um, and I don't know why I do that. And I apologize all the time for saying ugly things. Not, and it's, yeah, sometimes it's ugly things. And that's, that's hard to admit. But yes, I do um, catch myself saying things. And I don't know why. So, uh, that is something I would change about myself. I would try not to be so controlling over every other aspect of our world and, um, and be nice, be nicer. Um, yeah, I guess that's, um, things I'm proud about myself. Um, I am proud of my accomplishments, I think. Um, I have been a very independent person for a long time. Um, I finished nursing school and worked and was, you know, had a good job and career. Um, before I got married and had kid, had a kid, 
Um, so I'm very proud of myself about that. Um, I'm also proud about this weight loss. Um, I'm proud that I have done it not only with the sleeve, but with my dedication to exercise. So, um, that's a couple of things I'm proud of. Um, talents. I don't think I have any talents. I think I can sing. I know I can't, but I think I can sing. Just to give this girl a karaoke mic, not in like a karaoke bar because I won't do it in front of people. And you got to give me a few drinks. And then I am on a karaoke stage. We have a karaoke machine that we do at family um, uh, gatherings. And I'm usually the one that starts it because, yeah, put a mic in front of the girl and she's going to think, she thinks she's a superstar. But um, no, I cannot sing. Um, I can't dance. Um... I don't know if I have talents. I'm kind of crafty. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm a little crafty. I uh, make stuff and, um, but I don't know. I don't know. Toughest time in my life. I don't know. I've had, I mean, I have a few things, but it's things that happen to people. Um, my grandmother passing was a big tough time in my life because she was my BFF. Um, yeah, so that was tough, and that's been quite a while now. Um, but other than that, I, I can't say that I have had a tough, tough time. Um, I've had it pretty good, so that's scary to admit that. That it, I mean, it's fantastic to admit that, but, um, you know... Is there is something gonna happen now? Dun, 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 because I've said that. Um, I've, of course, I've had stuff like breakups and stuff um, like that that have been hard. But in big picture, has it been devastating? Not really. So um, anyway, craziest thing I've ever done. I'm I'm pretty much a homebody girl. But um, my brother and sister and I bungee jumped once together. Do you call that tandem when there's three of you hooked together? We did. Um, and I saw my life flash before my eyes. I thought I was going to die. Um, and it was funny because this rope kind of clicked. Um, and my brother held on to his two fat sisters, um, thinking that he was going to hang on to us and save us. Yeah. It wasn't going to happen as we were plummeting to the earth. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was, it was fun, but it was, I'd never do it again. Um, greatest regret. I don't know. I, like I said before about things I would change, my greatest regret would be how I act towards the people who I care about the most. And that's something that is a constant work in progress, I think. So, um, I think that's my greatest regret. As far as the greatest regret in life, I don't know if I have one yet. Um, because I think things happen for a reason and there's nothing that I look back on and wish that, or hate that it happened, or wish that I could change it somehow. There's just, it's just not anything that's happened so devastating in, in my past. So... Um, biggest influence on life, of course, my mom has been a super big influence. She sacrificed a lot for us kids and um, put up a lot with my dad. And and I think it was a two-way street, but yeah. Um, yeah, so she did a lot for us. And she and I have had a very rocky relationship all my life. We get along now and love each other fantastically now but um still we st are like sometimes like oil and water we just don't mix all the time um but she's been a super big influence um and most recently ha has been my husband because like I said before he is so patient and kind and tolerant and laid back and sometimes I want to choke him for all those things for being all those things because sometimes I just want him to yell and argue with me and he, he doesn't. So, um, yeah.
but that's okay. I guess it's a good balance. Um, so yeah. Thank you, honey. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, rah, rah, love. I told you I would check on some stuff for you, and I will. I promise. I just haven't had a minute, but I will. Um, everyone else, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, oh, I was going to do a body shot, and I don't even know. What the heck. I didn't do measurements or anything, but it's about that time. So, just jeans and t-shirt day. Um, tank top. So, anyway, that's me. And there's my baby. Not really. I say that every time. If I could get rid of that, I'd be a happy girl. Oh, except, you know, I was showing off my arms a couple weeks ago and saying, well, oh, yeah, look how toned they are. But when I'm doing yoga and you go into Warrior 2 and there's the mirror, you can't look like that. Ugh. And you see it's got all the little marks on it. Ugh. It is yucko. And now that it's short sleeve season, like I sit down and I can see this fold of chicken skin. I call it the saggy baggy elephant because that's what my ass looks like. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to, hey, what was it? change about myself or uh, missing in life plastic surgery anyway i hope everyone's good i will talk to y'all next week bye